Hi friends, how are you? This is the Call Donuts speaking. Welcome back to some more Nether Survival. Last time, we got this awesome golden sword. And this time, I kind of want to find a way to use it. Um, basically, what I'm saying is I would like to go out and find a chicken. Uh, and let's grab some blocks quickly, because what I want to do is... Obviously, go explore, and for that, I'm gonna need another rack to trap any chickens we find. Is he aggroed? Nope, he is not aggroed. Okay, that's good. He's not aggroed either. Alright. Uh, apparently, in this uh, version of the game now, uh, zombie pigmen can turn passive zombie pigmen angry, uh, which is a little annoying. And I just realized I'm hungry. Very, very hungry. So I don't really know what I'm going to do about that. I guess I'm just going to run down here and see if I can get some food. I mean, I have rotten flesh and whatnot, but that's not great. Um, let's head in and let's close the gate just in case. Uh, I mean, I have the bowls. I have an apple. I think I want to eat that. Um, nah, no, that's, that's not smart. I want to save it. Uh, but let's bring some mushrooms along. Uh, and see if we can find some red ones on our journey. We're gonna go to the nether fortress. I mean, I would love to find a baby pigman uh, on a chicken along the way. But as I continue to think about it, uh, I think it makes more sense to just wait for that to come our way and for one to spawn near our base. Because if we find one way out uh, near a fortress, we're not even gonna be able to bring it home anyway. Uh, so ultimately, I think it just makes the most sense to go ahead and go to the nether fortress. If we find one there, I will certainly capture it and see what we can do about it. I mean, passive mobs don't despawn, so as long as we trap it, we can deal with it later. Uh, so, it, that's that's obviously a challenge. Oops, I just took half heart of fall damage. But, we will keep our eyes peeled for that. I would love to find one. I know I said that was what we were going to try to do, but uh, I think ultimately we should really just explore... Uh, the fortress. We are on hard, right? Yes, we are. Okay. Um, so we will starve to death if we're not careful here. And I do have mushrooms on me. So I would rather not lose those. Um, really what I want to do is create a path up to that place that I, uh, used to dig up. Now, how did I get to here? This is to the side of where we normally come up. And if we go up here, let's create ourselves a little pathway uh, up there so that we can get to the Nether Fortress a little bit more easily uh, in the future. Is this going to work? Uh, I don't really know. And our pick broke. That's wonderful. Um, is this going to get us out of here? Yeah. We're going to starve, too. That's wonderful. Uh, so let's break the flames. And try to make some progress here before we die. Burn, uh, burning, burning, stop the burning. Please don't burn. I, I don't like that, no. Stop. Um, where are we? Okay, this is bad. I don't really know where we are uh, relative to the nether fortress anymore. Um... How are we supposed to get there now? Oh, it's over there. Okay, I see it. Alright, that's, that's, that works. Um, will this take us there? No. Will it allow us to drop down to it? I'm curious. And I know this is risky because if I dig this down, we may not be able to get our stuff back. So, tell you what. We're gonna do this. And we're just gonna die. Alright, goodbye, goodbye, cruel world. Okay. Go away. Go away, go away, go away, go away, blah, 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 blah. Dump stuff on the ground. And dead. Okay. So, I would like to get that stuff back, but I'm not overly concerned about it. Um, four brown mushrooms are nice, but I'm not, I'm not really thinking that I have to get those back. Uh, so, really, I think I'm just gonna re-equip and run back over there. And, or maybe we'll run back to the other one. Uh, 
let's take a damaged wooden pick and let's take a wood sword that we can make right now. And we'll take a bowl, I think, uh, so that we can make mushroom stew if we come across the supplies for it. One, two, three. Uh, and actually, you know, we should really just make another pick. Because um, I would like to bring some blocks with me and getting blocks is going to break the pick already. So that is not good. I realize we've started off a little bit slowly here, guys, and I do apologize for that. Um, but we're going to get moving here. We're going to get a move on and we're going to make progress. Trust me on that. I know sometimes uh, I am not always too reliable about how much progress we're going to make. But we will do our best here. And we will actually hopefully get to raid some chests today, which I know we have not done on camera in a long time. Uh, so we're going to head off in this direction instead of that one. I mean, I know there's a lot of stuff there. But it's pretty big, and I feel like we have found some of the a uh, good portion of the chests that are in that area. And oh gosh, there's a wither skelly. I kind of want to kill him for, in the hopes of getting coal. Oh, but there's a blaze. This is bad. And a ghast. This is stupid. Nope, we can't go there. We're going to go a different route. Oh gosh. Oh no. Okay, I think he suffocated himself. Okay, he's not after me. We're good. I should really not be sprinting, but I'm going to continue doing so. Yep, alright, my pick is broken. Uh, good thing we can get in here. We're going to take these nether brick. Uh, these nether bricks, I mean, I think I've told you this before, guys. I think I told you this last episode. But I do want nether brick, because uh, it's a nice blast-resistant block. Okay, this is blaze spawner. Peace out. I was worried about that. Um... We're getting out of here fast. I, when I saw in the shape of the building, I was a little worried about that, but I decided to go over there anyway. Uh, but nope, we're done with that little adventure. Let's cross over into this side. Uh, there's a staircase over there. We may need to check that out in the future. Tell you what, this is a pretty big place. Um, I am interested to see what this does for us. Um, nope. Nothing in that direction. Okay, this is a dead end. So, nothing in that case. Um, let's try going this way, maybe? I don't know. Uh, we gotta keep our eyes peeled for wither skellies. Dead end again. Alright, that's, that's pleasant. I'm trying not to sprint now, because I do want to preserve hunger. Um, I would rather not die as soon as we found a chest. Uh, this is something I believe we saw a second ago, but decided not to go look into. So I guess we're checking it now. Um, if I'm remembering correctly... Oh, it's got a blaze spawner. That's what it has. Okay. Um, let's try to kill this guy. Nope, we're gonna die. Die. There we go. Okay. Well, we lost a lot of health, but he's dead. That's good. Um... Okay, this place is big. Very, very big. Okay, um... No, there's nothing down that direction. Uh, but we are in a position now where we could find chests. Because, I mean, this is a big spot. Uh, there's a lot of nether fortress here. And I think we are very fortunate to have found such big nether fortresses in the course of doing stuff on this world. Uh, we're very lucky. This would have been a lot harder. To progress through if we did not found nether fortresses. And I'm backing away from that hallway entirely. And I believe this one turns into it. So no, we're not going that way. I'd love to check out what stuff that has to offer. But no, we, we can't do that. The circumstances prevent us from doing so. Alright, let's go this way. Uh, I am completely aware that I'm getting lost here. Uh, but we're just gonna have to deal with that, um, cause I really don't know how I'm gonna find my way back anyway. Okay, so this is where we harvested the nether brick, which means there are probably no fortresses in the area. Um, wait, did I just say no nether fortresses? I meant to say, I meant to say chests in the area, 
Um, clearly that's not what came out. Uh, and I'm gonna run away and possibly end up dying. Once again, not that I had found anything that I really needed to keep. Oh gosh! No, 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 no! There are two skellies here! I wanted to get those. Oh, I really wanted to get those! Man! I so wanted those... I so wanted those skeletons. I mean, we could have had another bow drop there. Ugh, that's just awful. That is just awful. No good. No good. Alright, well... Might as well continue here, then. Not really anything here I can use. Uh, we'll take this out, and... Actually, now let's just craft a sword. Let's go run around for a bit. I mean, all we've done today is search nether fortresses, and we haven't found a thing. Uh, so, what is my plan? Search more nether fortresses. Not great, right? I don't really think so. Um, so let's see. And I know this has not been a great episode today. I mean, the last one was pretty exciting towards the end. But what I think we can do, guys, maybe is see if we can find a different nether fortress, because I can't remember... Yeah, because I think this is a different one, right? Yeah, it is. Okay. Well, we'll explore this, and there's a blaze fortress... Uh, a blaze spawner right there. So we'll have to avoid that, but... Uh, if we go grab a pick, we can go explore this. And, uh, we will see what we can do, guys. And I am looking at those baby pigmen. <gasps> is he riding a chicken? He's riding a chicken! Never mind! Never mind. Operation Save the Chicken is underway, ladies and gentlemen. We are doing this, guys. We have to capitalize on this opportunity. We are not going to get it again. This is extremely important. I don't know if you guys know how crucial this is that we get this chicken right now. Because it takes a long time to get chickens. So we gotta get this right now. We're gonna take two picks over there. We're gonna grab all of the netherrack that we can get right now. Alright, we're gonna start with a few. Okay, I can hear the chicken. I can hear the chicken. Please tell me he's... Is he... <gasps> no! I hate you, little zombie pigmen. I hate you so much. I hate you. You little zombie pigmen! Well, really, that was the chicken's fault, but still! Still! I am very angry with you! That was a chicken right next to our base! Right next to it! We could have chicken cooked chicken for, like, forever! I mean, 25 for the rest of- which basically covers us for the rest of the series! And no, I am not even thinking about going for Return to Sender. I learned a little too much from Captain Minecraft for that. Ooh, gunpowder. That's pleasant. Alright, well, we can still pil uh, build up into this nether fortress then. Let's see how we can do here. There's another ghast in the area. Not, not pleasant at all. Um, we'll do with what we can. Uh... Do with what we have, rather. Um, I'm really disappointed we didn't get that chicken. But we're gonna keep going, because I know we had some lack of success earlier in the episode with nether fortresses, and this is an opportunity to actually find stuff. If we can get into the structure. Here we go. Alright, so. Uh, I kinda wanna eat this cooked chicken, but at the same time, I kinda don't. Alright, let's, let's check this out. What's up top here? Nothing at all. Okay, let's head down. Nothing there. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm seriously debating eating the cooked chicken, but at the same time, again, as I have said, I sort of want to leave it uh, for later times. When we uh, will be strong enough uh, to use the chicken and hold on to the saturation and uh, hunger restoration that it gives us. But, I don't know. The opportunity to explore this nether fortress right now 
is very important. Uh, it needs to be capitalized on. So we may need to use this chicken. <sighs> I'm so annoyed about losing that chicken, though. I mean, seriously, guys. We would have been set. Set, and I mean really set, for like the next eight episodes. Alright, gold ingots in a saddle. I'll take it. It's not ideal, but it does show we're finding chests. And there's another one here. Diamond, flint, and steels, gold ingots, saddle. Okay. The flint and steel is very big, because we can cook chicken that way. Um, as that zombie pigman demonstrated. Um, I kind of want to take this stuff back. We're going to eat right now so that we can sprint away from bad things that come our way. We're going to check this. Gold chest plate, we're putting this on. Because if we're exploring, I need protection against mobs. Uh, six gold ingots, that's enough to get close to a golden apple, and there is a chest around the corner. We're going to have to stop exploring these in a second. Uh, obsidian... I guess useful horse armor, not really. Uh, but we are working our way up to an apple here, which is nice. I'm really worried, though, that we're going to run into something bad here on the way back. So, oh, did I not break this? I don't, oh, no. Screenshot coordinates. Backing up. Backing up. Backing up. Backing up. Oh, here's what we can do, actually. I know what we can do. We are safe here, right? Okay. Alright, we're safe. Nope. From Wither Skellies. Okay. Wither Skellies cannot get us here uh, when we set these little barriers up, so that provides a little protection. Okay, I'm being very careful. Um, okay, we're good. We're still good. I really want to get out of here now. Um, I'm very concerned. Oh, gosh, I'm so scared right now. I want to get out of here. With all the stuff we've gained this episode, I do not want to lose it. So, let's, let's hop out. Um... Let's get out of here. I know we took damage there, but I'm fine with it. We gotta get out of here now. Get away from this ghast. We're not going to hit back his fireballs. We're going to run up to him. Try to kill him. We're gonna get away from all fire in the area. Grab that ghast here. Lock ourselves in. Okay, never mind. Wait, let's look around the corner. Make sure we're not gonna hit a pigman. All right, we gotta get back. We have to get back. Um, high pressure situation. The saddles aren't that important, but the gold, the chest plate, and the diamond are useful. And having an extra chest plate means I might be willing uh, to take one with me when we scout nether fortresses in the future. Oh gosh, I was so scared he was aggroed for a second. Um, which will give us the ability to survive longer and be more resistant to wither skeletons. Now, if there are four which I believe was the case last episode. There's not a whole lot I'm gonna do. But, otherwise, you know, maybe. Just just maybe it'll work out. Alright, uh, we have to turn this corner. I kinda wanna hit the zombie pigman and go for it. Um, I don't know if that's smart at this uh, point in time. We also have enough gold to make a golden apple. Do I wanna do that? I kind of do. Uh, but I can't decide. I cannot decide. I, I don't know. Mm. Oh. This is tough. This is really tough, guys. Because I want to kill the pigmen, so I have to decide about that. Uh, I kind of want to make a golden apple, but I'm not sure if that's the right move. I think it probably is, but uh, eating it would not be. In any case, we're going to mine this tree quickly while we think about our next move. Let's punch this a little bit to get a sapling. And I'm thinking we probably are going to hit the pigman. 
I know a lot of times that's a very bad decision. But I sort of want to do it. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I'm only going to carry things that aren't that important. Uh, I mean, I don't want to die, but I don't want to lose anything that's really crucial either. We have a lot of nice stuff now. I have to say, the flint and steels are actually a huge find because we can cook chicken with them in the future uh, without having to get iron for it. Alright, so there aren't even that many pigmen out anymore. I was thinking because there were six of them right here, uh, or something like six, I'm not sure if I counted correctly, but because there was such a high number of them in the area, I was considering doing it. Oh, and coming over here makes me think about the chicken jockey. Gosh, I hate that chicken for walking in the fire. It wasn't really the baby pigman's fault. Uh, but man, that was, that was unfortunate. Well, let's see. I guess we could do some pigment farming. There are four of them right here. But I'm not I'm not sure that's that's going to be smart cuz there are probably a few others in the area that I can't see and won't be able to kill, which means that the pigmen in the area are pretty much going to always be aggroed uh, from this point on. So I think only the really the only time when it would really make sense to uh attempt to uh the only time when it makes sense to attempt to farm the pigment is when they have an enchanted sword or there's only one of them in the area i would say so i think the last thing we're going to do this episode if these guys don't have enchanted swords is make sure they don't have enchanted swords all right so none of these guys do so i'm not really too concerned about them do any of these guys have enchanted swords i'm curious but I am guessing no. Does not appear to be the case. Okay, so we're going to go back. We're going to sprint quickly. We're not out of hunger. And we're going to try to get back without getting shot by ghasts. And we're going to put away this golden chest plate, which I forgot to take off. And then uh, that's going to be a wrap, I think. Um, we're going to create a valuables chest in the back, I think, though. Uh, we'll put it right here, where hopefully, no, this is a bad spot for it. Now we'll put, we'll put one there, and we'll put one here, uh, to reduce the risk of gas blowing up all our extremely important supplies. So we're going to move our armor, uh, the diamond, the flint and steels, uh, some of the saplings, although not all of them, uh, and a couple of pieces of wood into the back. So we're going to do the following, we're going to put this 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 in the back and then this 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 and this into the back and those are our backup supplies reserve valuables that we can't take away so we're allowed to use any of this stuff but we can't take anything else and on second thought i'm actually going to move these items to the back too um we're going to put five of the gold in here and then since this is kind of opposite the side where the gas would be shooting at us from, we're going to put the most valuable stuff back here. And actually, what I can do is, and I don't think this will affect tree growth, I think I could top these with nether brick. Uh, I don't know, I kind of would want to move them down one. So here's what we'll do, actually. We'll slab them. We'll put nether brick slabs on them like that. I don't think this affects tree growth, and it will provide a little extra protection for the valuables. So, anyway, guys, uh, this episode is running pretty long, so we're gonna have to wrap it up. I am happy that we explored the Nether Fortress a little bit, because I know today's episode got off to a bit of a slow start with some dying, and maybe not as much energy from me as I usually like to give you guys. Uh, that was just kind of random. I, I wasn't really in the groove for a second there, but we got into, a, uh, we got on a roll there, uh, with finding chests. We found probably, like, four in the Nether Fortress. Uh, and, oh yeah, and, and right, we almost got, uh, a chicken jockey. We almost got to launch Operation Save the Chicken, but it didn't happen for us because somebody, <laughs> I'm looking at you, chicken, uh, did not cooperate and set himself on fire. At least we got to eat the cooked chicken. I mean, I mean that was tasty. We haven't had that in a long time here now, have we? But 
without further ado, I hope you have enjoyed, guys. Please remember to like and subscribe if you did. This is Monique Aldona speaking goodbye, friends, and I will see you all next time with some more Nether Survival.